guys and welcome back to the show. So in the last video we looked at how to use templates in Flask. In today's video we're going to learn how to use the two basic HTTP methods in Flask. So GET and POST. GET is basically sending data to a client and POST is basically sending data to a server. So if I open the browser then I type in GitHub and I hit enter, what I just did was that I sent a GET request to the server to get data. Whereas if I have a form and I click on submit, what I'm actually doing is that I'm sending data to the server rather than getting data from the server. So this is what we're going to look at today using Flask and see how we can do the same thing in Flask. So by default, if you don't specify the request method inside of your view function, the request method is get request. So if I import request from Flask and I create a variable called request method, which will be assigned to request the method and I pass the request method to the hello.html template. So I will say request method is request method. Okay, so if I go into the hello.html file and I try to see what request method I get when I make a request to the slash URL, you will see that the request is get. If I go into the hello.html file, you can see that the request method over here is this variable that I've just passed to it. Okay, so the request method is basically this. So if I start the server and I go to this URL, it says hello and the request method is get. So we know that by default, the request method is get, but you can also specify the request method if you want. You can be explicit, but it's what I tend to do. And the way that you do that is basically by going into your app.root the creator. So my app.root the creator and passing it the request method that you would like the view function to accept. So in this case, we would like you to accept just get. So if I come over here and I can pass it methods, And it will be a list of methods and the method that I want to pass it is get. So you can explicitly declare that the method that you want to pass or you want this view function to accept is a get method. So if I come over here and I hit enter, it still works. You can also pass it more than one method. So you can pass it a get method and I can pass it a push method as well. So I could say get and post. That is if I want this function or if I want this view function to accept a get request and a post request at the same time. We will come to that later on. So the question that I'm asking myself is that what if I decide to remove the get method and tell this view function that the method that it accepts is just post. If I try to make a get request to the slash URL, what will happen? Well, let's see what happens. When I make a get request to that slash URL, I get method not allowed because the method that I'm telling the slash URL to take is just a post request. Now let's look at how we can use post request in Flask. The way that we're going to use the post request is basically send data to the server. In order to send data to the server, I need to create a form. So inside of the hello.html file, what I'm going to do is to create a form. Okay, so I'm going to create a form. And in this form, I'll create two input fields, one for first name and one for last name. And the last thing that I'll do is to create an input field, which will be of type submit. And what I'll do is to say the method is a post. And then when I submit the form, where do I want the information to go? The information that I put in the input field, where do I want that information to go? Well, instead of the app.py file, I'll specify that these slash root also takes in a push request. So I will say that send the information to slash. Okay, so I'll come over here and I'll specify the action to be slash like so. So now if I go to the slash URL, I see first name, last name and submit. Now when I click on submit, you realize that did change to post because the request method is now post because I submitted to that URL. Now let's pass in data into the input field and let's see how we can handle that data in our view function. So if I come over here, let me just print out what gets logged in the terminal when I submit something 
the data that gets logged so that we can find a way to retrieve that data. So I will say that if the request, the method, if the request method is posts, what I would like to do is to print the request dot form then let me put something around it so that we know what is being logged in the terminal i'm also going to create a function called name and i'll redirect to that name if a form is submitted so i'll define a function called name and i will say return right now what i'll return is just name okay and then if a request method is post what i would like to do is to redirect to this name url so i need to pass it up the root and i'll give it slash name so in order to redirect, I need to import redirect from Flask. So I'll say redirect and I need to import URL for so that I can redirect to that URL. So I'm saying that if the request method is post, what I would like you to do is to return redirect URL for this view function. So name. All I've done is that I'm saying that if the request method is post, so if I click on the submit button, what I would like to do is to print out or print in the terminal the request.form which will print out the data that was input by the user in the form and I would like to redirect to the URL for name which means redirect to this root. So now if I start the server, everything is working. I put in Sarpon then I put in Chris and I click submit. So it's URL for name string. So if I start the thing again and I put in Sarpon and I put in Chris and I click on submit it redirects me to the name so slash name but let's see what gets printed out in the terminal so in the terminal as you can see I've got an immutable dict which means an immutable dictionary which has first name set to Sarpon and the last name set to Chris and I'm sure you're wondering where this first name and last name are coming from. So if I go back to the form, the name of the input field which takes the name, which takes the first name is called first name and the name of the input field which takes the last name is called last name. So those are the keys and the value is basically what the user inputs inside of the form. So now let's find a way to retrieve this. We know that it is a dictionary. So what we can say is that if the request method is post, I will go ahead and retrieve the first name. So I'll say user will be request.form and request.form returns a dictionary and we want the first name so I can get the first name which is basically this. So let me make this first name instead of user. So the first name will be request.form and I'm extracting the first name from the dictionary. And what I can do is that instead of saying slash name, what I can do is to pass to this root the name that I get from here. So I can specify slash and I can say string and I can say first name and I can specify the first name here as well like so. So now I can say URL for name and I can pass it the first name to be this first name. So now if I go to the slash URL and I submit something. So on the slash URL, if I put in Sarpon and I put in Chris, then I click on submit. As you can see, I have Sarpon here. So basically that's how we use the HTTP method in Flask. So what we've seen is how to use the HTTP method get and how to use HTTP method post. We've seen that get is used to get something from the client or something from the server. And then HTTP post is used to send data to the server. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.